what's going on everybody got another video here for you this video we are going to find the domain of this function here all right so finding the domain well we look at the numerator and we see there's there's no restrictions on the numerator the numerator can be whatever value there's no square root up there or anything like that uh, the thing that we're going to have to look at is this denominator here. So the first thing we know is we know that the denominator cannot equal zero, right? Can't have zero in the denominator. So we want to find out when does this thing equal zero? So if I add natural log x minus 1, to both sides that's going to give me natural log x minus 1 so see it would be natural log x minus 1 equals 1 I'm just going to write the natural log on the left hand side okay so you would you would actually get 1 equals natural log x minus 1 because those would go out and so I just I just swap sides all right all right so now what we want to do is we, we need to solve this thing here for for x. So if you remember natural log, the natural log of x, okay, we're not looking at this problem right now. The natural log of x is the log of x with base e. Remember, it's understood that there's a log and that's a base e. So if you remember how to convert that, that's going to be what? e to the first remember it's whatever the base is there's a, it's understood there that's log base e it's understood base e so it's the base raised to this number equals the x minus one and so here we get x is equal to e plus one all right so that's what would make the denominator zero and then what's the other thing that we know? Well, the other thing that we know is we can't take the log of a negative number and we can't take the log of zero. So this part right here, this x minus one cannot be zero and it cannot be negative. So that tells us that x minus one, if it can't be zero, it can't be negative. That means it has to be positive or it has to be greater than zero. So if we solve this, we're going to add one to both sides. And so that's going to give us X is greater than one. All right. So let's write this domain in interval notation. We're finding the domain. So we've got one here. We've got E plus one would be there, right? So the domain has to be, oh, well, I messed that up, didn't I? That should be a x greater than 1. When you add the 1 to both sides, I don't, don't ask me why I wrote the 0. It should be x greater than 1. So that means x has to be larger than 1, but it cannot include 1. So we've got an open circle. It's greater than 1. And then, remember, it can't be this either because that would give us zero in the denominator. So we have an open circle there and it goes all the way to infinity. So our domain would be from one to E plus one. That takes care of this part. And then we hop over this and we have E plus one to infinity. Let me draw that a little better. And this would be our domain. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.